Good day everybody, welcome to Larez Studio. I've got uh, a little project that I want to do here just to restore this painting. Uh, it's just, it, it looks like it's seen better days, so I need to restore it. And uh, without carrying on too much, I'm going to start with with the process. I've got some ResRock Ultimate um, Artist Compound. So... I'm just going to pop in, this is the paste version. There is a powder that you mix in with some water or you can mix in with resin and create paste. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plonk it in here because I want to create a little moon here. So this is all I'm doing. So it's going to be raised quite a bit or it can be as much as you want it to be I suppose. And I'm not priming anything because I will resin over the top of this. So that will definitely, I'm just going to take some out because it's just a bit too much, I think. So using a spatula to, to apply it. And this um, inside of a tape, which is a perfect circle and it's going to give me a really nice uh, shape to my moon I just want to create like a reddish kind of moon uh, just sort of pushing to the edge and then I'm going to pop it out straight away there we go so it looks okay and now I'm just going to fiddle with it a little bit making sure that I bring it all the way to the edge and the edge is fine and then just kind of fiddle with it a little bit until I get it exactly how I want it somebody's just arrived so the dogs are going a little bit crazy but it's all good So what I do is, I've got a little bit of water here, it's just dirty water, which is fine. Because um, I need a little bit of kind of colour to, to add to this moon, because the moon is not perfectly white. I'm just adding a little bit of um, shape to it. I just want it to make it bumpy, but kind of structured bumpy. And if I need to put some highlights on it later, I can always do that without a problem. So just dabbing it down a little bit. And the water really helps so the, the res rock doesn't stick to your finger. And, and it kind of it makes your finger nice and slippery so it can... It can sort of smooth these edges a bit better than you would with a brush and I want to create some craters so that's what I'm doing here I will add some of that red uh, oh, I haven't mentioned the red um, uh, just a new Larez color port red I should port wine uh, sorry I should should have called it old port because it looks kind of brownish but uh, once you mix it with your resin it turns into this really beautiful deep red which is what port wine looks like and just kind of smoothing this area it's still very wet I'll let it set for a little while it's going to take quite a few hours for it to set but once it sets it should be it should set nice and rock hard and I can always go around and fix it how that's not perfectly round I just go around with my spatula and fix that okay and put a little bit on the outside as well on the edges just a little bit and that's that just going to let it set before I start carrying on with the rest of the painting so 
that what I was doing there wasn't uh, drying the compound, it was actually just getting rid of the excess moisture which is going to react with my resin. So I wanted it to be perfectly dry um, and not affect my resin. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to kind of dry up a little bit, um, as it's this painting is uh, predominantly going to have a red and a gold, so the new port wine and the old um, uh, molten gold. I'm sorry if you can see my pajamas now. I've got my little puppy pajamas on, <laughs> as you do. I'm sure a lot of people. Um, do resin art with PJs on. So what I've got is just a Posca pen. You can just use acrylic paint. It's all good. And I just want to highlight this tree because I've got a, a textured tree here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of highlight the, the parts that I think are going to be affected here by the moon. And although, although, although it's not a a gold moon or oh, may end up being a gold moon you never know I still want to add some gold in it because I don't want to add any silver or any white or anything like that I don't want any contrasting extra colors I just want whatever it is to be you know a highlight here which is the gold because I'm going to have a lot of molten gold in here and this Posca kind of gold color is um, very similar to the molten gold. So I'm just going around the edges and creating a little bit of kind of highlight. So you can see where the sun is coming from, or sorry, the moon, not the sun. Um, that's where you're getting these and I could even add some more branches here if I wanted to I can continue this one you can go like that just add some more and uh, create a little bit extra there stuff that's not going to be textured but nonetheless it's still gonna look great we hope or we'll see Okay, so there's some extra branches there, like that. Okay, and the rest of it is kind of shaded, because that side there is not affected by the moon here. Okay. Okay, I got my resin all mixed up. I only am using about 120 milliliters here because I don't want to cover the whole flat whole thing so uh, just going to be using some molten gold and uh, you know just want to let you know about the molten gold you need to give it a little bit of a stir uh, oh okay how'd that happen let me just clean myself up I've got a dirty stick here that I didn't realize it was uh, it's just an amazing pigment but it does tend to separate and uh, I can't help that, so just give it uh, a good stir. Just like with any metallic you get from any company and any brand, you, you need to stir it up a little bit extra. So, and I'm going to be using the port wine. This is a new color, which looks kind of brownish when it comes, comes with this uh, foil which is an induction foil, so make sure you pop it back in there. Hang on a minute. Foil up, that's right. The silver part up the top, doesn't really matter. So, okay, so here we go. I'm going to have more of the red and just a little bit of the gold, and I always leave some extra resin in here, just because you never know when you're going to need it. Just need a little bit of gold. So this gold, the molten gold, is very, very strong and it tends to take over. So I am aiming to create some fire. As most of you know, we get a lot of bushfires here in, in Australia. And uh, it's uh, quite 
common to to have the you know a fire somewhere happening in Australia so I'm putting in about five percent of this port wine into my cup and stirring it now so I'm just looking to get a really nice deep color if I don't like it I can always add some more but I'm quite happy with this color right right now so I'm going to keep that color and I could add others other colors in there but I won't I'm just trying to show you something here and a little bit of this molten gold you don't need a lot see that's way too much you only need a tiny little bit see that otherwise it takes over this molten gold is expensive to buy and uh, you don't need a lot of it so don't overdo it and I, I've overdone it here it's way too much way too much but it is what it is now so just keep keep that in mind that you don't have to use too much to get effects and you will okay so here we go let's start with it I might just put a couple of little drops of this on my moon make a little smiley face for now that'll be fine and then what I'm going to do is uh, actually let me get my paper try not to make so much mess here and then create some fire so we've got way too much of that there and who knows what's going to happen with it but like I said it is what it is just gonna spread it out a little bit the canvas has warped a bit on me before and I'll probably get some leakage here but let's just go with it for now this is like I said just an idea just to show you this amazing color and how it uh, it looks with the gold I'm not talking a lot because I'm kind of concentrating now don't want like I said too much of it I might have to do another piece And over here, maybe coming down from there. You want that red everywhere. Now, with this here, I'm just going to dab it a little bit. And I am going to add a little bit of gold to it. It's a bit too much, I think. So I'm just going to take some off with my alcohol wipe. And just kind of dab it. Actually creates a really nice, interesting effect because that's still wet. Okay. Time for the gold. Don't have a lot of gold. So I'm going to add a little bit of it here. Very randomly. Okay. And now
random but not random if you know what I mean random you know in a sort of a way That already looks better. Now I'm going to do the, the top. Oops. And adding more now seeing where else I can add some more this gold and the red looks amazing or oh, this gold with any kind of opaque color or a deep darker color just looks absolutely stunning all right so I really am liking this already don't want to mess with it too much so I've got some texture here now because this is just resin sitting on top of um, already resin painting and it's it's elevated so you can see that it looks pretty pretty good I might even try and go over these a little bit just a little bit try not to muck it up just gives it extra texture that's something you can do you know okay so now fully doolies that looks really cool just gonna kind of Pull that down a little bit, like so. Here's my finger, two fingers. Now, to me, that looks done. Um, I don't really want to add any more other than maybe some more gold because I want to make it quite golden. Um, maybe the, the moon, because I remember back in 2001 when we had the fires in Australia, um, the moon, you could see it, it was, it was bright red. So I might just add some more red to the moon and hopefully don't muck it up totally but well I'll try I'll try not to of course it wasn't that kind of color it was more of an orangey red but maybe if I add a little bit more gold to it it'll do its justice a little bit and just dab it down a bit Like I said, still wet. The compound, still very wet. <clears throat> I may need to highlight it a little bit later on. Try to pick that up a bit. Okay with a little bit more gold make it quite golden okay now this is turning into quite a oops 
nearly went to the wrong cup. Quite an abstract -y kind of painting. And I will add a little bit more gold there. Whatever I've got left. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of torch. Just a little bit, not too much. Now that port wine is just a stunning colour. Now let's get my my heat gun plugged in. It's not plugged in at the moment. So I've got the last thing I used was my hair dryer. In the dory. In it goes and love it. You can see the canvas warping in the middle. I'll just leave, you know, give it a second to, to settle down. And that's it for this one. I'm not touching it anymore. Oh my God, all the little beautiful cells and things happen in here. Beautiful combination, port wine and molten gold. It's just amazing. And I'll bring you down so you can have a, a closer look in a second. And then I'll just get another little piece and use up the rest of my um, my resin because I don't want to waste it, of course. So I'll just bring it down for a second. Okay, so here we go. Still quite wet. It's not ready yet. Here's the moon. It's wet as well. Everything is really wet, but it looks uh, quite effective. Look at those those effects there it's, uh, and down here just really really pretty together and there's my tree you can see it's it's uh, 3d and it's still going to be working and doing its thing so uh, if I have a chance I will come back and and take some shots of it when it's all set up and dry it's quite red and gold and that's what I wanted because that's what it looks like when the bushfires are on Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and have a go at using these colors and do something really bright and amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.